Hello dear students, a very warm good morning to all of you and, and welcome back in our biology session. So in our biology session we are discussing our lesson and the name of the lesson is what? We check the age of adolescents. Okay. So in this lesson already we have discussed some points and we are now discussing the point that is what changes at puberty. Already we have discussed some changes at the puberty but there are the certain changes which remain that today we will discuss. Okay. So the changes at puberty. So the next change which takes place during the puberty period that is what development of sex organs. Okay. So in our previous lesson that is reproduction in animals, we have discussed about the reproduction in the males and the females. Also we have discussed about the reproductive organs in the male and the female. So during the puberty period, this development of the sex organs takes place. Okay. It means what the body becomes ready for the reproductive or the body reaches to the reproductive maturity okay so if we we'll talk about the females if we we'll talk about the males the sex organs that is what testes and the penis are get mature and the testes started to produce the male sex gamete that is nothing but what sperm while in the females the reproductive organs like ovaries, ovidums and the uterus are get increased in the size, they become mature and also the ovaries started to secrete the female sex gamete that is what eggs or we can say as what ova. Okay. So during the puberty period the development of the sex organs is also takes place. Next one we will discuss that is what reaching mental, intellectual and emotional maturity. Okay. So the, during this puberty period there are not only the certain physical changes takes place in the person's body but along with that physical changes there are the certain emotional, mental and the intellectual changes or we can reach that intellectual and the mental maturity and the emotional maturity. Okay. So now what is in by intellectual? Intellectual means what? That is the stage. In that stage the person started to think logically or the person started to understand the different things. Okay. So at this puberty period the person reached to the mental, intellectual and the emotional maturity or we can say that the, this is the puberty period is the period in that the brain is having the highest capacity to learn the different thing or the brain is having the highest, greater capacity for the learning. In this period or during this intellectual maturity the people or the adults started to think about themselves, they think about their future and they are started to think about their whole life. Okay, so all these changes exist during the puberty. But let's say exactly which types of the intellectual, mental and the emotional changes exist during the puberty period. So first we can say that what during the puberty period the adults are feeling very comfortable with their friends or in their peer groups. They are having a different mood swings, they become happy, sad, they become so angry also sometimes or they sometimes they lose their temper also. Okay. So all these are the different changes. Sometimes they will be confused, sometimes they will be so much excited. So all these different things, all these different changes takes place in their body because of one chemical substance that is nothing but what? Hormone that we are going to see in the next session. Okay. If during this puberty period, uh, the adolescents started to fight or they started to search the uh, very important the unique social identity. They become self-conscious and start need for the feeling of acceptance and understanding. And also very important is that sometimes during because of these different physical changes in the body, the adolescents become so much insecure about their body. Okay, but my dear student, there is no need to become so insecure about all these physical changes because these all are the physical changes are the natural changes which takes place in your body. Okay, so there is no any insecurity, there is no any shameless about your or there is no any shameful thing about your body. Okay, so all these are the natural changes which are takes place in your body. But in that case also if you are having any problem, if you are having any query, then you can consult with your parents, with your elder people or with your teachers and they will be so much happy or they will be so much happy to help you. Okay. So this is all about the different changes which takes place at the puberty. Now we will move on the next point from the same lesson that is we will discuss about the secondary sexual characters. Okay. So just now we have discussed in this point 
that is development of the sex or sex organ that is male and the female reproductive organs are there and that both the male and the female reproductive organs are having the vital role in the process of the reproduction so with the help of this sex organ we can distinguish between the male and the female but along with this sexual organs there are the certain sexual characters are there which help us to distinguish between the male and the female okay on the basis of the sexual character there are the two types of the sexual characters we can say that first one is what primary sexual characters and the second one is secondary sexual character okay so two types of the sexual characters are there first one is what primary sexual character and the second one is secondary sexual character so let's see one by one what is mean by the primary sexual character and what is mean by the secondary sexual characters so the first uh, sexual character we will discuss that is what primary sexual character okay primary sexual characters so what is the definition for that the sexual characters which are present since birth are called primary sexual characters okay so the sexual character for example we can say all the sex organs are what primary sexual primary sexual characters why because they are present since we born okay since from the birth they are present in our body and that is the reason they are called as what primary sexual characters okay and these primary sexual characters are directly involved in the reproduction process okay so the sexual characters which are present since birth are called as primary sexual characters for it which are the primary sexual characters the sex organs are the primary sexual characters and its primary sexual characters directly involved in the process of reproduction now we will discuss about the next one that is what secondary sexual character what is mean by the secondary sexual characters the sexual characters which are controlled by hormones now what is mean by hormones hormones are the chemical substances which are responsible for for the different changes which are takes place in our body okay so the sexual characters which are controlled by the hormones which distinguish between sexually mature males and females but are not involved in reproduction okay so there are the certain sexual characters are there which are controlled by the hormones and because of their sexual characters we can distinguish between the sexually mature males and the females and that characters are called as what secondary sexual character and very important thing is what this secondary sexual character doesn't involve in the process of reproduction okay so there are the certain sexual characters takes place between the males and the females so let's discuss which are the sexual character takes place in the males or which are the secondary sexual characters takes place in the male so at the puberty period or in the adolescent there are the certain sexual uh, secondary sexual character we can see first one we can say that the adolescents are having the hairs in their armpits under their thigh region or in the pubic region also they are having the hairs on their face that we can call as what here we can say that like a mustache and the beard also they are having on this uh, hair started to grow on their chest area very important that we have seen in the changes at puberty also the boys are having very deep voice because of the adams apple also the testes and the penis become mature and they started to produce the male sex gamete that is nothing but what sperm their body become broader their shoulder becomes broader and the chest becomes wider their skull is heavier also we can say the body becomes so much muscular because of the growth of the different muscles so these are the certain changes which takes place in the adolescent male during the puberty period and all these are the changes and all these changes are called as what secondary sexual characters okay so all these secondary sexual characters takes place in the male's body because of the one hormone and the name of that hormone is nothing but what testosterone okay and the name of that hormone is nothing but what testosterone so all these secondary sexual characters takes place in the boys because of the male sex hormones which is secreted by the testes and the name of that hormone is nothing 
nothing but what testosterone okay so because of this testosterone all the secondary sexual character we can see in the men uh, in during their adolescence period okay so if there are the changes in the male there are the certain changes or there are the certain secondary sexual characters we can see in the girls also or in the females also so during the puberty period or during the adolescence the females may be having certain changes like hair grow under armpits and in the pubic region the menstrual cycle starts or the monthly period starts the ovary started to release the eggs or the ova there is a increase in the breast size and also the increase in the hip region and their body becomes more curvy and the girl is having the high pitch voice okay so all these are the certain secondary sexual characters which we can see in the adolescence and all these secondary sexual characters takes place in the female's body because of the sex hormone and the name of that sex hormone is nothing but what estrogen estrogen and also and one more uh, hormone is there that is nothing but what progesterone okay so because of the estrogen and because of the progesterone hormone the different uh, secondary sexual characters we can see in the females body and this hormone is secreted by the uh, sex organ that is what ovaries okay and because of these hormones we can see the secondary sexual characters in the females okay so this is all about today today we have discussed the changes and puberty that we have discussed about the development of the sex organ also we have discussed about the reaching mental intellectual and emotional maturity and very important today we have discussed about the secondary sexual characters also we have discussed the which are the secondary sexual characters uh, happens in the both female and which are the secondary sexual characters takes place in the male okay so this is all about today today we will stop here we will meet in the next video with the next point and for today thank you